We've been waiting weeks, and those things are still swarming our property while you sorry excuses for defenders of the Republic sun yourself on the base. This is a military operation, sir. This planet hasn't been cleared for civilian occupancy. My brother didn't mean to be insulting, but for three centuries our family has dreamt of reclaiming our place on Terrace, and now to be stopped by those things. Terrace is a dangerous place. What are you doing here? Our ancestors escaped Terrace before the bombardment. They kept everything, deeds, papers, we've even got hollow images of the estate. They always intended us to return. We can't go chasing civilian claims, justified or not. We've barely got the men to hold the base. The Republic validated our records, but some outlaws set up a camp there. They've got security droids all around the perimeter. Why can't you handle this on your own? It's too dangerous. Some kind of outlaw set up a camp there. They've got security droids all around the perimeter. It's a war zone. We almost got killed entering our own property. The Republic will respond to all such claims of hostile, non-indigenous lifeforms based on strategic value. Where does their property stand in the expansion plans? Personal land, sir. It'll be explored once all the public space is secured. That's what they keep saying. That we can only claim it if we fight those awful droids ourselves. But how? Unless... could you help us? What's on the table, exactly? Our family was fortunate to escape the bombardment with their fortune intact. Help us reclaim what's ours, and you will be well rewarded. Of course we'll pay, but no droids, no whatever's living there. Clear them out. I don't care how. Hold. We have no more with which to defend ourselves. You have left us helpless before the Rakuls and everything that haunts this planet. My people are refugees, survivors of the battle on Coruscant. Would you turn us out of yet another home? Identify yourself. My name is Akatan, and you might call me the leader of this colony. We fled here after the war. The lower levels were in shambles. Thousands of people from thousands of species, homeless and hurt. The humans in the Galactic Senate barely slapped on a new coat of paint. We came here to start a new life. I'm very sorry to hear that. So many men are here to reclaim this planet who know nothing of its past. Ancient Taurus was a blight on the Republic. The black mark on its reputation for freedom. As far as I know, it was some outer rim nothing until the Empire blew it up. Humans on Taurus did as they do on all planets. They seized the surface, claimed Taurus's wealth, and forced every other species underground. Every meter of land owned by a human was probably seized from another species, just as this was seized from my ancestors. I have their documents. So old they were kept in printed form. Read them yourself if you doubt me. What happened? There must have been a reason. It was about money, of course. A human governor cut taxes to favor his people, and when others rebelled, they were the ones punished. I think the claim was, aliens are dangerous to Teresian trade. If you have any sympathy for our cause, perhaps there is something you can do? We are alone, and at the Republic's mercy. I would not wish to see you turned away from your home. I thank you for softening your heart to my story. I will tell my people to begin repairs on our droids. Excellent job. We can smell the smoking metal corpses from here. I told him that's not really possible. So who are the crooks who set themselves up on our property? Did you drive them off? Your ancestors stole this land. I have the real deed right here. The alien resettlement was a valid executive order approved by the Republic. This is our land. There are alien survivors who kept their claim? I'd have thought they would never come back here. I... I studied the history. It, it wasn't right. It was justified. You can't make us leave because of that. You couldn't face those droids. You don't want to face me. Are you threatening me? Yes, she is. And don't make her prove she can do it. We'll be on the next ship out. It was kind of crazy to think we'd get our dream after 300 years. That only happens in stories. Hey, good job. 
both on the droids and getting to the bottom of that mess. Terrorist politics. Huh. Who cares about this dump anyway? Brass called me when you left. Wanted to see if your work's as good as your rep. Is there something else you want me to do? Well, I doubt he's asking you over for a cup of mudleaf tea. Captain Childress calls, it usually means something needs fixing. If you're interested, go look him up. His office is at HQ, other side of the base. Tell him you're the one who ran off the Brat Brigade. Hey there, Captain Childress. I want to thank you for taking the time to see me. You did nice work on that land claim mess. Like we flew this many troops to the armpit of the galaxy so some kids could play Pioneer. It'll take way more than it's worth to make this planet livable. Only thing interesting about Terrace is that it's the worst failure the Republic's ever had. I don't know much about Terrace's history. Way back when, the Sith were searching for a Jedi here. When they couldn't find her, they tried destroying the entire planet. The Jedi escaped, but millions of people died an ugly flame of death. The Empire tried the same thing on Coruscant in the last war. 300 years after Terrace, we still don't know squat about how to defend against a bombardment once ships are in low orbit. I can take a battle cruiser or two, but I don't know if I can stop a whole bombardment. <laughs> we're not there yet. Right now, we're just trying to learn what we did wrong. I sent commandos to defend a research team at the crash site of the Endar Spire, the last Republic warship shot down over this planet. If we're lucky, that ship recorded the whole bombardment. But my team's lost contact, which means there are desk jockeys in the wild with the most valuable data on Terrace. If they still got comms, tell them help is on the way. The crash site's a ways out, fast as you can make it. I don't know if we've got survivors. Research team's your number two priority. Data's the most important thing. Take anything the Endar Spire recorded to Commander Viki at the outpost. Lieutenant Carlslu, I'm all that's left of Commander Childress's fifth detail. Please, tell me you're our reinforcement. I've come to get you out of here. Give me a moment. All's clear, guys, and we've got some muscle from back on base. This is what's left of our research team. The others got ambushed while working. Scavengers must have guessed we were after something good. We need to hold them off long enough for the research team to recover and download that data. I'm on point. Researchers inside. Anyone who's not working, fan out behind me. Aye, sir. Aye. Okay, data's priority one. Everybody into the ship. Go! If you hadn't come when you did, those would be our smoking corpses there, no question. Unfortunately, we're not done. Not until this Rex data is in the hands of Commander Viqui. Give me what you have. I'll get it to the Commander. We've recovered all the high-priority info. If you run that to the outpost, I'll hold off what's left of the scavengers until our reinforcements arrive. 
If you have any questions about military operations on... Ah, oh, Lieutenant. I was expecting you. Excellent job at the Endar Spire. Everything from the primary computers is on here. The data from the Endar Spire will be invaluable to the Republic's war efforts. Lieutenant Carl Sue tells me there's close surveillance footage of the Imperial warships. Havoc Squad belongs to the Republic, sir. And the Republic is honored to have you. Thank you for your service. Republic intelligence has been waiting for this data since the bombardment fell. As you can see by the data, there is no disease in known space that propagates as quickly as the Teresian Rakul Plague. Even one individual Rakul can start a pandemic, as we have observed in 81 colonies to date. Until a vaccine can be widely distributed, it is highly doubtful that any civilian colonization effort will yield lasting results. Thank you. If you're working on a vaccine, I'd like to help. Working on is a generous term. The last breakthrough in Rakul Plague research was three centuries ago. Holonet archives say a Dr. Forn developed a Rakul serum vaccine just hours before the bombardment. I've been trying to acquire this serum, but short of putting a blaster to someone's head, that's not going to happen. If there's a cure out there, you'd be saving millions. Don't tempt me. There's a pirate camp not far from here. I heard they went after the ruins of Sepinek Memorial Hospital. Sepinek was well preserved. If there's Rakul serum to be found, it'd be there. I asked Commander Viki to step in, but since it wasn't a Republic hospital, the pirates have legal salvage rights. Commander Viki has her hands full. I'll handle the pirates. I can't say what will be required to get this done, but this plague has infected half a planet's worth of people. So if that serum shows up on my lab table, it'd be unethical to throw it away for any reason. I hope my position is clear. You picked the wrong medbay to rob, Vac Brain. There's gonna be 200 Death's Claw pirates coming through that door. I don't want to hurt anyone, but I will. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, you see these guys lying here? They've got the Rack Ghoul Plague. You touch me, and they'll be on you like huts on a buffet. Except, you know, faster. And don't think they're incapacitated. Oh no, they just look that way. I've got a serum you wouldn't believe. I heard you dug something up. I'm gonna need it. Yeah, we've been using it to... Whoa, wait. No, you don't. No, you can't take it. These people are infected. If you cut off my supply of serum, these guys are gonna turn. You know what that means? I'm gonna have to shoot them all in the head before they try to eat my liver. You're a doctor, right? Synthesize some more. With what? My state-of-the-art facilities? I can only use what I find, and we don't find much. The only place I can think of that might have some left is the ruins of Dynamet General. The place was basically Ghoul Town. You want serum, you get it there, and leave us alone. You've delayed long enough. Fine, take it. But these people will die cursing you. Welcome back. Let's get those serum samples analyzed and see what we've got. Well, thank the Force for good Teresian storage technology. I wasn't sure anything would still be viable after three centuries. While we wait, is there a cost to these samples I should be aware of? A deal with a pirate crew, perhaps? Pirates will be furious, but at me, not you. I see. I'm not sure I want to know any more details. Ah, here we are. Fortunately, the plague is so virulent it cultures very rapidly. Hmm, bad news. The serum you recovered looks like it was effective 300 years ago, but the Raku plague has mutated since then. This serum will only provide effective immunity for extraordinarily healthy individuals. How do we make it stop modern rat ghouls? Manufacturing a true vaccine requires what we call a lucky survivor, someone whose system has made antibodies to the plague. We haven't had a survivor yet, for obvious reasons, but this serum might provide the link we need. If I infected an extraordinary individual protected by the serum, I could collect the antibodies and make an effective vaccine. 
what happened to most virulent disease in known space? I need someone with proven recuperative powers. Someone who gets injured almost on a daily basis. Ideally, they would have survived stabbings, shootings, poison, infections, maybe all of the above. I understand your profession exposes you to physical punishment. Do you think you could survive infection? All right. But if I end up as a rat ghoul, I want a statue. A non-rat ghoul statue. Let's, uh, hope it doesn't come to that. We have a medical droid, CB-084, set up to observe rat ghouls in the field. He'll be able to collect the antibodies and slow any potential complications. After I give you the serum, go out there and test it. Let the rat ghouls attack you and see what happens. Are there any other medical facts I should know? Uh, sure. You're doing the right thing. Now, here's your serum injection. I hope the Force is with you, because the science is stretched to the limit. Infection is progressing. Hold still while I take samples for analysis. While I transmit the data to Dr. Cell, there are some questions I should ask. Do you have any of the following symptoms? Dizziness, fever, shortness of breath, and inexhaustible hunger for sentient flesh. Can you do anything about these cuts? I'm losing blood here. I'm sorry. My core function is in analysis, not trauma care. Ah, here's Dr. Cell. Good news. Your antibody count is off the charts. I'll start work on a vaccine immediately. You are remarkably brave. Our progress has just jumped forward by years. While you recuperate, I'm going to transmit the usual secrecy agreements. Just use your thumbprint to sign on the sensor. I'm not signing anything until I know what it is. Oh, no, no. This is perfectly normal. We developed the vaccine for Republic soldiers first, and when it's proven, sell it to colonists. Until then, it's under wraps. We don't want the Exchange or the Sith funding some horrible operation with an underground version. Lives will be lost while this profit is being made. Tell me something I don't know. Every week we hear another rat cool horror story. But every colonist on the planet is going to want this vaccine. How do I tell my superiors we gave up that kind of money? An entire planet succumbed to this plague. Are you a doctor or a patent office? I'm a doctor. And this cure will get made. Even if I have to build the manufacturing plant or hand synthesize every macrophage. Well, I think she's angry. But from past experience, may I say that usually motivates her. If it means anything coming from a droid, sir, congratulations on your research, and also your remarkable survival. Lieutenant, it's good to see a soldier of your reputation slumming with us out here in the wilds of Terrace. There are important objectives here for our war with the Empire. Well, whatever brings you here, I suggest you don't stay long. We barely got stores enough for our station soldiers, much less visitors. At this rate, I've got men scalping ration cubes for a half-week's salary. I can't believe the Republic sent you out here without sufficient supplies. Oh, we get supplies. Every month. Shipped in from Ord Mantell. Problem is, this month's ship went nose down in some of the worst territory on Taras. It'll take another month before the next one arrives. And in the meantime, my men are stewing their gloves. Is the ship lost? Why haven't your men recovered the supplies? Our men tried to reach the ship once, but they turned back after taking serious casualties. They said it's more than just rat ghouls, but couldn't make an ID. If you still want to go, you'll need to talk to our quartermaster at the supply shed across the base. She's got the exact coordinate to the crash. And you're just going to make this all better, huh? Want to calm down and point me to where your supply ship crashed? Of course. You think I want to see everyone here starve? But I don't want Commander Fatpants to think it means he gets away with this. Embezzle the Republic's money to bring in dress blues from Alderaan. But don't worry, 
One of our top special forces guys will bail you out. Slow down and start over. The ship didn't have to crash. I said over and over that the ship needed repairs. The left stasis generator was loose, and the hyperdrive motivator was seeping fluid. But Guarded had already spent our allotted maintenance budget on himself. If this is true, he's a blot on the Republic, and I'll bring him down. These are good soldiers here. They deserve a better man to lead them. If you can take this hollow camera out to the crash site, you could get the evidence I need to get him court-martialed. You've won me over. Thank you. If you take hollow pics of the engine, I can show that the document is what caused the crash. The most important thing is the supplies, though. The crash site isn't far. When you get everything, bring it back here so I can distribute it. We don't have antibiotics. They come on the same ship as everything else. You're supposed to keep better tabs on that sort of thing. These men have the Cillian flu. They could die if... Lieutenant, do I read from your face that you brought welcome news? Tell your men they're off rationing. Not a moment too soon, Lieutenant. Let me tell you, you really saved my stripes on this one. The men came close to mutiny when I cut rations again. Uh, they knew this wasn't going to be a luxury cruise. What do you expect? You ask your men to starve while you eat Bantha steaks from off-world. These pictures prove you knew the ship was damaged and you sent it anyway. They're going to Republic Command, along with my documentation of every personal purchase you've made. These men left their families and risked their lives to come here. If they die, it should be for someone better than you. I... I didn't know the ship was so bad. I thought if it was serious, they'd catch it on Ord Mantel. The men on Terrace deserve a better leader. This is ridiculous. I did nothing wrong. Republic Command will never listen to you. I... I need to call them. Thank you for all your help. But there may be something else, too. Normally, our fourth outpost comes here to pick up its supplies. But their convoy never arrived this month. I'm afraid something happened. They need to be found. Just tell me where to look. You've got to be the best friend these soldiers ever had. The route between the outposts runs along Lake Brel. Not the best planning. There's rat goals there, and a Nexu spawning ground in worse. Usually the convoy's managed by only traveling when the sun is highest. Plus lots and lots of firepower. But if they're out there too long, well, you need to find them. Every moment we delay risks their lives. I'll leave right now. Whatever happened to the convoy, we need to make sure Morn Outpost gets their supplies. Sonic emitters along the route usually keep off the worst of the critters. But if they're on the fritz, that convoy would have walked into a feeding frenzy. Fix the emitters and see what you can find about the convoy. When you're done, report to Commander Yajik at Morn Outpost. And thank you. We just stopped to rest. Geozel found a scratch, and we don't know if it's the Rakul infection, so we're waiting. And Ferdoan might be coming down with the Geonosian Swamp Flu, but we're on our way, I swear, and you're looking at me very strangely. Slow down and start over. Nothing. There's nothing to tell. I mean, I'm Private Gilro, Terrace Outpost 4. Kind of assumed you were looking for our convoy. We, we just stopped to rest. Sorry to trouble everyone. You're 48 hours late. Have you been here that whole time? Yeah. Like I said, Ferdon was hurt. I, I mean, Geozo and... Oh, forget it. I was never a good liar. We aren't going back. Is that what you wanted to hear? We've deserted. You have a duty to the Republic. What about its duty to me? Five years we've been out here. No break. Most of our friends have died. We're wounded, tired, broken. Fighting something that can't think, can't be frightened. And if you get the slightest scratch, you become the enemy and your own squad puts you down like a dog. You must return to your post. 
You knew the risks when you signed up. I can't. I'd rather kill myself, I really would. Every soldier knows they might have to die for the Republic. What makes you so special? You think we didn't agonize about that? But if we were fighting the Sith, if our deaths would mean something, but there's nothing on Terrace. But she's right, guys. Trying to defend the outpost down five men? The Rackles will get them all. And it'll be our fault. I guess we have to go back. No matter what happens. State your business. This is a Republic military outpost. Sovereign territory of the Galactic Republic. We will defend ourselves with deadly force if necessary. First Lieutenant Havoc Squad, most recently of Ord Mantell. Lieutenant, welcome to our outpost. There's no unauthorized travel this far into the wilds. Best policies usually blast first, chat later. Don't suppose you were sent by Commander Guarded with news about our supplies. It was a breeze. That's a relief. Our own convoy never reported back. Wouldn't be the first time we lost one to the Nexu. I was about to send another, but that means leaving the whole outpost understaffed and undefended. And the Rack Ghouls have been real active this month. Don't suppose you saw any sign of our boys. If they're still alive, they'd better have a good excuse for leaving us hanging. It's your problem now. I'm out. That sounds like there's more to the story than you're telling me. I'll get it out of them when we get back to the base. Whatever their excuse, I can't imagine it will be good.